The body of Foo Fighters drummer Taylor Hawkins was flown home to his devastated loved ones Tuesday as Colombian authorities continued to probe the legendary rocker's suspected overdose. In images obtained by Mail Online, a plane, black casket containing the musician's remains can be seen being loaded onto the band's tour plane. The chartered 757 jet after flew from LA to Bogota to collect him. The jet took off from El Dorado Airport just after 2 p.m. local time on Tuesday and was landed around 8 p.m. PT back in LA exit comes after Foo Fighters cancelled their upcoming tour dates following the death of their band member Taylor. The band confirmed the news on their official social media channels with a heartbreaking announcement. The emotional statement read, It is with great sadness that Foo Fighters confirmed the cancellation of of all upcoming tour dates in light of the staggering loss of our brother Taylor Hawkins. We're sorry for and share in the disappointment that we won't be seeing one another as planned. Instead, let's take the time to grieve heal, to pull our loved ones close, and to appreciate all the music and memories we have made together. Foo Fighters star Taylor, 50, died on Friday just days after a gig in Argentina where he stepped out from behind his drum kit to sing Queen Somebody to Love. Following the tragic death of the much-loved drummer, tributes have poured in from devastated stars. Queen legend Roger Taylor said his death felt like losing the younger favorite brother, adding, he was a kind brilliant man and the best friend one could ever have. Beatles drummer Ringo Starr, 81, also paid tribute, God bless Taylor, peace and love to his family and the band. The rockers had been staying at a hotel in Colombia's capital Bogota ahead of a gig at the city's Estereo Picnic Festival. Staff called emergency services after Taylor complained of chest pains but he was dead by the time medics arrived. He leaves his wife Allison and children Oliver, 16, Annabelle, 13, and Everly, 8. It is the second tragedy to hit Foo's frontman Dave Grohl, after the suicide of his Nirvana bandmate Kurt Cobain in 1994. In a statement over the weekend, the band said, The Foo Fighters family is devastated by the tragic loss of our beloved Taylor Hawkins. His musical spirit and infectious laughter will live on with us forever. The rockers were due to play for sold-out dates in the UK in summer, 